Hello my friends, Russell Wright from NetworkEmpire.com and CurationProfits.com and today I want to let all of our Curation Profits members know that there's been major updates. There's 90% of the material inside CurationProfits.com that we'll consider legacy material. It was created December of 2011 and January of 2012. As you know, things are moving very quickly over at the Googleplex and everywhere else there's already a huge compounded confusion around the topic of content curation and on top of that we work with premium content curation that deals with your own organization's content more importantly premium content is paid content how to deal with curation as a way to supplement the content that you use to generate leads and conversions into your own membership site and or your premium content area but aside from that our curation profits courses We've been told it's a very powerful course in introducing content curation and some of the paradoxes and contradictions that are around this topic in the industry. Because as you know, there's many different kinds of curation. There's real-time news curation, there's RSS curation, there's theme curation, and there's regular topic or subject matter expert curation. So the problem is, is that this has all been grouped into one particular kind of area called content curation. And most people who begin with curation really don't know how to use it to make any money. So the main thing that I need to uh, make you very much aware of is that Google has changed. And in the curation course, all of the content we currently have on the sidebar that was created early on will be called Legacy Curation. And we'll be starting to add the new items. First of all, I want you to understand that most of the content that we've created in the Curation Profits area is just fine. The major change that many of you have emailed me about is that uh, Google has of course changed the Google Reader and we were the first to announce that but I haven't introduced a new way to organize your content so in this introductory video I'm going to show you what's changed and how the new what we'll call Curation 2012 course is really designed to help you replace Google Reader and understand how I use Google Reader so the original graphic or diagram that we had used Google Reader as the syndicator and it was the Google shared reader down here that we use to organize and syndicate a lot of our material. Well this shared reader is gone. It no longer exists. Therefore this share and unshare function has been rendered obsolete. And I'll show you how in this new course I'll show you how I organize content. I'll just tell you straightforward at this point I still use Google Reader but only to collect articles and organize feeds from my own content empire as well as my subject matter expert friends. Okay, So you can still use Google Reader or any reader for that matter and you can still organize people's information when it's coming in. I use very few people's information. Sometimes I'll follow Robin Good's uh, stuff that he is coming through his feeds from his sites. Um, I'll follow other people but I've got my own feeds in here running through the system including my G Plus feeds which we of course had to create on our own since there are no public Google Plus feeds available. You can learn more about that on our Google Plus course. Uh, also I follow our theme zoom feeds. I also do follow Matt Cuts. Now these the only reason I follow other people is because if they're subject matter experts that relate to my industry and the content that they talk about could be useful for me to add a spin or to clarify or provide further insight, then it's worth curating in the premium content curation method. So Google Reader works for that, but they changed the syndication button that used to go to their shared reader to the Google Plus. I don't use any of that. That's not useful for me. It's not useful to share things directly to Google Plus for my reader, and uh, we'll show you the reason why. And I'm sure it's fine for some people, but that's not a powerful method that we're suggesting. So I just want to make you aware that I'm currently, today, as of Jan uh, February 6, 2012, we are creating new videos for the premium content curation method, and I'm going to be showing you how this diagram has changed, and we're going to be introducing the new methods of content curation within that. Created a new process map that is far superior to anything that we've done before, some of the method, methods we were already testing when we created the last one. Now, most of the things that you're, you've been taught are going to be very powerful. But we're going to show you how we uh, organize that content, how we craft our story. Because curation is really story crafting, isn't it? And organizing the stories. Most people who call themselves curators are really headline curators. 
So they're not really con curating content, they're curating headlines. We're gonna show you how that works in the news industry. We're gonna show you, more importantly, how you can speed up the time and the, speed up the time it takes to get a story out, but also create stickier stories, that there's more conversion, more time on site. Okay, we're gonna show you how to do video curation if you want to. You, working with Storify and other systems and scoop it. Okay, the whole process is here. But more importantly, we're gonna show you the different SEO paths. There's the advanced SEO thinking and the basic SEO speed method. You'll find that most real-time news curators don't care about SEO whatsoever. We do, because if you want to really organize your web ring, okay, let's go over to this other page here. If you really want to understand how one web ring to rule them all and how your RSS feeds operate together, you're gonna to need to know how to curate and use other social media platforms within your empire. This is a diagram of the WRS1 WR1, 2, and 3 uh, web domination rings, network empire web domination rings, you're going to need to understand how the link flows through your empire towards your primary site. And it's not just link flow, it's also traffic flow and social flow and interest flow or intrigue flow that you want to drive towards your primary frame. Okay, we talk about all of this in the course. So again, I introduced you with the legacy curation content to a lot of these principles now through testing and major changes at Google. Major things have st started to settle with Google Plus specifically. I created a different course, g-plus.com, the tale of two Googles, just to help you get primed for the launch of Google Plus. When I launched this course, all of that was fairly new. Now we're seeing social transformation across a lot of these platforms and we're beginning to see how the social graph is integrating into the social search results with the new Google Plus results and how the new search engines, if you look at Google, just a real quickie here, you can see, of course, that I, and I've gone over this already in other preemptive videos, how you now have two options. You have your social graph and you have your Google legacy. And this is very important stuff. If you don't understand how Google Plus ties into this yet, you need to get moving on it. We're gonna cover as much as we can in our Google course. What I'm finding is that content curators go completely crazy and they because they don't have an understand of link flow, page rank, and SEO, they either disregard it or decide that it's not important or don't target their own golden frame for conversions and or SEO rankings. This is a mistake. We now know it's a mistake because SEO matters, theme clustering matters, and targeting your link flow so that your SEO strategies are at least partially included and what you're doing, it's very, very important because, let me just go ahead and get this thing back up on the screen here, because over time, a curator can have a lot more wealth and a lot more social equity as well as, proper, as, well as web and social status and ranking factor combined. Why should you leave out one of the important factors of doing business online and building your own uh, platform empire when you are spending so many hours curating content, why not drive traffic and authority to your own primary platforms that you own? And this is what we need to point out to you that it's all about link flow, and it's all about, PageRank is not dead, okay? It's all about driving traffic to the very, and um, PageRank at the same time, whether you're using bookmarks, doesn't matter what web ring you're in, there's a strategy to include all these topically, okay? And that's the topic that we really want to point out is that you can drive link flow to your primary uh, websites. And if you are using website membership site software, which we strongly re recommend if you're a subject matter expert, you begin to think about educating people online in that way, that you can drive all this page rank for given keywords and keyword clusters and shingles that's overlaid, uh, that's overlaid topical themes, long tails, and themes. When you do that, you're going to rank as a curator, when you do this properly, you're gonna rank for entire sentences, structures, and shingles. That's the overlapping keyword shingles across multiple domains and topics if you lay out your plan and what we call your theme curation plan. Scoop.it, Storify, Posturus, all of these other curation-friendly platforms, I would say Scoop it is really a curator's tool, uh, are very useful in organizing your theme empire and driving all of these, all of the link flow, the traffic, and the subject matter expert, what Google is now going to be calling your, your, your authority, that is your social authority, which is now combining cybernetically with SEO towards a single point. Okay, so this course, the advanced module, which we're adding on to the legacy module of curationprofits.com is designed to make sure that we give you the advanced maneuvers 
both basic and advanced SEO structures so that you're beginning to utilize what Google is clarifying for us through Google Plus as the new social linking algorithms that are coming around. So Russell Wright from NetworkEmpire.com. I hope this has been helpful. Go ahead and move on to the videos that are 2012 Curation Profits.